Hey everybody, it's Vampire Chicken, a grandmaster at the game of Risk, and today we are going to be playing round two of the Kill Pete 2. I'm very excited. I'm hoping to uh to get a whole bunch of points this week. It's my only chance. And let's see if we can do it. We are playing on SMG Spaceport and it's progressive. It's world dom. It, the settings are simple. And red is going right in. This is Vaxi, who actually is a fill-in for today's uh, match. A master with 67 hours. They've taken a bonus. You do kind of need to take a bonus right away. I have a significant amount over here. So I'm going to need to... Do I have to hit this three? Do I wait a turn? Am I nice? Red actually has a very good position, I, I think. Uh... So let's smash them immediately, you know? Sorry, seven on three, it has to be done. <laughs> Sorry. I'm going, I'm going insano mode. I'm going crazy mode. And I'm going to pull these guys out just in case people want to mess with this. I don't know. Let's try that for turn number one. Perfect dice. That's the only way I like to start my, uh, my games. So far, things are going well. And if I can get some secondary position out here, I don't know exactly where. We, maybe we can do fine. The idea is to basically get at least one, but maybe two bonuses. I think this is 100% a bonus game. And it, it will probably play out that way on like a, a true progressive game where maybe you, you don't or anything. Let's see which way Black is going. He's coming for this bonus, right? Yeah. So green gets popped a little bit. No big deal. Andrew Din. This is an expert player. I didn't see quite how many hours in the game, but uh, yeah, he's got about 100 hours. Okay, we're getting a good feel for the lobby. We got Agnes Fleece, who's an intermediate with only 37 hours played. We'll see how they handle this. Looks like they're going to attempt to go for this bonus. Okay, that's a plus two. Most of the bonuses are plus twos, but there are a couple plus threes. And then there's these Klingons on the outer edge. So the pathing on this is a little bit complicated. If you haven't played your game yet, I would recommend practicing just a little bit just to get a good feel for the pathing. Um, it can be a little bit complicated. But so far, so good. We have a, I don't know, maybe maybe above average start. I can't complain about it. Everybody's grabbing bonuses. Everybody's good. Geld uh, Shidster has the Purple Troops, an intermediate player with 107 hours in the game. And then we have Hayward Sheba with White, who is a master player. 120 hours in the game. Okay, so it looks like they are going to go for this. I was tempted to leave my stack in here and then make a different fortify just to maybe save this too in case white is going for this. White might have a hard time actually getting a bonus here. I thought they would maybe can go for this one. Why not punch this too and go for this? I don't know. Are you going to break red? <laughs> what are they doing? They're going for that bonus or they're coming out this way. Yeah, they are going for this bonus. Okay, I'm a little bit surprised because they could have gone for this. A lot of people could mess white up because white is very weak. Uh, you know, me being one of them, but I don't think uh, I don't think starting a war is going to be the the best approach here. Uh, let's see if red red is just taking cards in there. Um, I don't see how I'm going to get a secondary bonus. So I'm going to hope to hold this and then get some position way over here. I'm also, I don't have any, any ones to hit, which is a little bit frustrating. Uh, so that is frustrating. I can get purple all stuck on this side, though. I mean, this isn't my, my favorite move of all time, but sorry, purple, whoever you are. Uh, you're going to get stuck on this side with me because, you know, where I can see you. And you're not going to be able to kill me. That's the goal. Okay, not the perfect dice there, but that should be fine. I'm going to put these guys over here for now. I think that's going to work out just fine. I pick up a wild card. I'm in the second position, which isn't necessarily optimal. If you're in the first or second position, it can be tough. Uh, not only am I, my, whenever I get my trade in, not only is it going to be for less troops, but what that generally tends to mean is that then it becomes a little bit more difficult to make kills. But I've seen a couple other people play these settings uh, in this tournament so far. I'm one of the earlier groups, but a, a couple people have gone before me, and it seems like there are a lot of mistakes being made on this map. So I'm hoping that even though I'm in the second position, maybe maybe there will be some mistakes as the game kind of gets going here. I mean, I guess you always hope that there's mistakes, but we're still early on in the tournament. And I know these were settings that I think were played last year, but they were played much later into the event when everybody was like super good. 
Um, but hopefully we're not at the, the super top mega GM level yet with these settings. And we should be a little bit cautious that Red has these like Klingons. I don't know. Everything is going well. I don't think I'm getting another bonus, which kind of stinks. Green is going to slowly maybe one day take this bonus. They put everything here to hit green. Red? No. I don't know. The green is, is not forcibly going for anything. So that's that's completely fine. I wonder if purple will go for this. Purple's got this giant 10 out here. Oh, purple actually, even though I knocked him out, they do maintain a line on me through all of this. But things tend to get boxed up. They're asking to go into that bonus. Yeah, very fascinating. They want to go up into the shields and get another plus three. That's fascinating, because it looks like you're trying to go for this bonus, at least to my eyes. Okay, but we'll see. White took the bonus in the middle. I don't know if they have any other plans. Um, I think it's going to be difficult for them to get a bonus, unless they're going to punch a five or do something wild. I think White is going to have a hard time getting a bonus. I think if I were them, maybe I could would spread out a little bit, you know, just start bringing troops over. But we'll, we'll start to see. Usually the first set of trade-ins is basically to kind of try to position yourself. So I've managed to get one bonus and have one exterior far away. It doesn't make me completely safe, and a second bonus would actually do quite a lot for me. Oh, he's coming in this way and removing a little bit of black. Okay. So that's completely fine. Because purple wants to go up here. So if purple's actually going to hit this bonus, they're going to remove black here. And black is going to be fully surrounded by me. So that could work out well. White is spreading out a little bit by getting a, a stack a little bit farther away from their, their main bonus. Okay. It looks like nobody's going to be getting these outer Klingons, these like five point Klingons, because <laughs> purple and red both have a pretty big stack there. Hmm. Which also means black is semi kill guarded. I mean, semi, because it's. There's three of us that have access to him. Um, where do I actually want to be? Maybe do I move up into here? I'm not exactly sure where white is going. But we're not going to let him get wherever it is. We're going to keep adding to our positions here. I think that should be completely fine. A reverse 69. It's kind of kind of some humor there, probably. I'm going to move up into here. I think this will be fine for now. I've uh, got an 8 stack operational up there. It's looking at black. It's looking at white. Um, don't have a particularly good line on red when I move away. Maybe I actually should try to stay over here, but we'll see. If somebody takes a card and leaves the square vacant, maybe I will go back to here. But we'll see how it goes. Black I might have lines into, especially if purple actually comes into this bonus. Why did purple ask white to leave and then not come into here? Is that what happened? <laughs> Black is actually leaving this open, which keeps my line on white open. It's not, I don't think I'm the one that's going to be able to kill white in the future, because I think this is going to get blocked up. It's going to be hard for me to get into here, but you never know. Green does now take this bonus. Getting a bonus is, uh, is a very good idea. Okie doke. Yeah, and then they're going to try to go for that secondary bonus as well at some moment. Cool. Let's see if purple actually comes in here. Which I'm hoping to see. I'm hoping to see this two get removed. There's a couple little pockets. Like up here, if purple wants to guard the kill on green, like, I mean, you can take all this and kind of guard it. So right now, black and green are not very accessible to me unless I go into purple first. Which is going to be difficult because I'm going to get a much, much earlier trade than purple. So I think in the position that I'm in, it's not, it doesn't seem very likely that I'm going to be getting... A, a, a kill very early on. It's not the way that it feels. But we'll see. We'll see. This is kind of like the nerve-wracking portion of the, the game. The waiting portion. <laughs> Where you just, you just kind of improve your position here a little bit. Um, yeah, okay. Red is actually, I think, getting out of green's way over there. Looks like red is going to take a card over here. Try to keep that position. Sure thing. I do have a turn in. I shouldn't need to use it. Um, I'm 
I'm just going to keep adding to my positions. And this is all I'm working with. I got one exterior and I got one... I got one position over there. I am going to stay away from this. Pop this guy back up here. I think this is. I think black is going to keep taking cards in here, which is completely fine with me. And my nine is just going to kind of box everything up over here for now. So I'd say it's going okay. It's not the best position, but it's going okay. Yeah. Okay. Does black back up again or does he stay there? He backs up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we will see. Green is going to take this second bonus now. So that's two plus twos for green. They started a little slow, but it's, it feels like they've they've corrected. We haven't seen any, you know, general newbery. No bonus breaking, no bad neighbor, which I think is uh, I think is the way to do it. I'm wondering if it's somehow possible to kind of semi card block red. Like if red takes a card here and I just keep taking a card here, maybe red will find it harder to get cards. Purple is going up that direction. I could insist on this bonus. It's quite expensive to clear out. At some moment, I think I might be clearing this bonus out just to just to get get it out of there, just to get purple out of there. I don't know. The greedy part of me wants to take this bonus. But uh, yeah, purple's leaving a 10 up here. Sometimes if a position like this or a square like this gets kind of kill guarded, these, these are two kind of main kill guard squares here. I guess this could be a kill guard square too. There's all these, a lot of these just little inlets that only connect to one square. They can make it very difficult to eliminate certain players. So green, it's just only, only really purple can do it. The only way to kill green right now is to go through purple. Whenever the trade ins start start kicking in, but red here, I guess red still has cards in here, because white is going to keep getting cards in here. If white would start taking cards out here with us, maybe red would have a hard time doing something. Maybe red's about to do something explosive. He's got two giant stacks and one bonus, and he does decide to skip. Okay, well, so if red is skipping, I guess I should skip. You can you can definitely skip in these situations. I think it's fine. I think it's fine for red to skip. No sweat. Um Okay. So I'm going to do the same then. And I don't think there's any reason for me to take a card if if he wants to skip. I'm happy to skip. Let's let's see if everybody skips or if somebody wants to take a card. It's an interesting decision. <laughs> we'll see there's definitely positions where I think it makes a lot of sense to skip and, and positions where it doesn't we'll see I think everyone is going to skip now yeah black skips as well <laughs> green who's getting plus 7 so I guess this favors whoever has the most bonuses which is not red so if everybody skips red should definitely take a card if everybody skips and red doesn't take a card, I guess I should take a card, because otherwise people with the biggest bonuses are going to benefit the most. So green skips. <laughs> Let's see if purple skips. Does anybody anybody break down and take a card? Let's see. Purple's got the plus three. I would skip. I guess everybody skips, and then we'll see if red actually takes a card. If he doesn't, maybe we can get angry at Red. I don't know what we'd do. We would just get angry at him. Just come on, bro. Because <sighs> he's only got... He's got the security. He's got the plus three. Who's who's getting the most here? I'm only getting five. I'm actually getting, like, the least. Oh, cool. Purple takes a card. Fantastic. <laughs> so, so far, one person has decided to take a card. Uh, and they removed green, right? It was green up there. So now green... Doesn't have that kill guard so much. Yeah, we shall see. 21 next to me for purple. Purple also has a line on me over the top here. So purple could be a, a very big threat to me. Is white going to take a card in the last position? I wouldn't suspect it. How do I make it so that purple can't kill me? Purple with the trade-in. Are they going to kill me right away? 
I should be careful. Hmm. I don't want purple to be able to kill me. I wonder if I can come down here if somebody else will stack here and prevent purple from killing me. White doesn't know if they want to skip or not. I think they should skip. <laughs> so purple took a card and nobody else did. So red should take a card now. I would I would think. But purple is very lined up on me and is about to trade in. They're only going to get the four trade. But I think purple could could try to kill me now, which would be very sad obviously. And I don't want I, I skipped, so I'm not going to turn in. Red skips again. Is purple going to kill me? Oh, dear. Um, Man, oh, man, oh, man. Well, I'm going to risk that purple doesn't kill me because I want to get a high score here. <laughs> I really do. Uh, I'm going to put everybody over here to make it harder for purple to kill me. I'm going to come down this way. I'm going to take a fifth card. And I'm going to put everybody here now. And let's try that. Just getting out of purple's eyesight, but I think we still maintain lines on players such as black and purple for the future. I could die right here. I mean, this this might be the end of me. If purple wants to kill me, then I die here. So I'm I'm banking on them not killing me and kind of making a mistake. Like maybe I have to turn in there. I choose not to. My biggest hope is that black goes here and stacks here because then I live for sure. Is everybody just going to keep skipping? What is going on? <laughs> Can we start taking cards, please? <laughs> Wow, he's not going to take a card. <laughs> take a card and please leave a snack here. Then purple doesn't kill me. That you're my favorite. You're my favorite player if you could if you do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stay there. Stay there. Stay there. Don't come back. Don't go back. Don't go back. Yes, I'm alive. Okay. Oh, <laughs> black may have just saved my life there. I'm not sure if uh if purple was going to kill me there. But now this prevents this 10 from coming in and getting me. And it's it's very expensive for purple to come and try to get to this 15. So I'm alive. Let's see if purple tries anything crazy, though. They turn in for four. They're at 61 troops right now. So I'm at five and 37. So I'm, I'm the one that they would want to eliminate. Yeah, but I'm alive. Thank you, black. That being said, now how do we kill black? <laughs> how do we punish them for this? And maybe I actually need to put my stack back here. Only, I mean, purple is, purple is scary, but we're going to have to maybe not let our fears get the best of us. Um, where I'm positioned, I actually now don't really have a line on black, but we're friends. He saved my life. I guess I'm not killing him. Um, is there a way to set up to get somebody else? Is white going to take a card? I think you should. Okay. In order to kill Black in the future, I need this stack to be here so that I can eliminate all of him. Uh, so I guess that's what I'm going to do. The trade, it's really not worth it just yet. With all these people skipping, it's only the, the sixth trade that I'm really getting here. But at least we got people taking cards. And I've, I've improved to the, the sixth. I, I guess I got my normal trade, right? I was going to get the sixth trade anyway. Yeah, okay. So let me get these guys fired up. Uh, I can trade in the horses. So I do have a trade next, which actually is, is very useful to know. Uh, so I will put some over here. I'm just going to make this like a 20. Oops. And I'm going to make this a 6. And I'm, I'm sort of hunting black more than white black is the one that i have the most access to but also green but maybe green is not so easy to get to okay yeah i'm gonna leave that as a seven there because i should have enough with the trade in if black doesn't add here but maybe black can add in there we'll see how that goes out we'll try that so i'm, I'm getting out of this square black turns in for eight Green is the one that's going to end up on five, but I, I have a hard time getting two green. Because I'd have to use basically this entire stack and come two directions, and somebody would have to get out of my way. But green is going to end up on five cards. So they're like, there's somebody that it would be nice to be able to set up to eliminate, but I don't think that's how it's going down. 
Okay. And black sits right in front of Green's face. Delightful. Um, green takes a fifth card. Can purple kill green by any chance? It would make sense for them to try to do it. This is all open. So there is some, some possibility. They have to go through this six, though, probably. Unless they can use this 10, come all the way around to eliminate this, and then come through for green. Purple with 69 troops is in a very powerful position. But I guess they're just getting cards. Okay. And they're a little bit boxed in here. Purple is only aimed at me and black. I think purple is hunting me. I get the strong... My suspicion is that they're coming for me. I do have a wild card, so I'll be able to trade in. But who... Who could we even go for, you know? Who could we even go for? I could position myself radically different. It just bluntly set up for a purple kill somehow. <laughs> just very bluntly. We shouldn't. I think we're hoping that black gets bad luck on the cards. Black ends up on four when I have one card. So if I turn in now, I'm very safe. If black doesn't get a turn in, but I have enough to eliminate black on the next turn. If he ends up on four cards, then maybe life is good. Maybe around then it'll be worth it. So do I turn in for 12 or do I take a fourth card? I feel very weak. Hmm. Let's see what red does. I feel like I should turn in. Me on four cards, I would be the weakest. But then again, it doesn't feel like anybody is truly hunting me, but maybe black with a turn in somehow could? Hmm. Yeah, it's tricky. Can I survive another turn of not turning in? No, oh, because purple might turn in and kill me. I'm trading in now. They call me vampire chicken for a reason. <laughs> it's, the, it's mostly the chicken part. I'm going to put like 10 over here, and then I'm going to do... Do this, hopefully lulling black into a false sense of security. Then I'm going to go here. Is this going to prevent purple from killing red or from killing black? Maybe, but maybe that's good. So let's go here. This actually might kill guard black from purple. Because if purple was hoping to somehow get to this with a trade in, they're not going to be able. And we'll see how black handles this situation. So my, my stack over there just keeps moving around. So it's nothing... Nothing out of the blue. But if black doesn't have a trade in, we will be able to kill them. It would only be for the 20 trade. Hmm. But if he has four, I would get a, yeah, I'd get a trade in right away. Maybe I can live. I mean, I think it's important to get some bounties. And my position is not fantastic, so killing black and getting another bonus might be good for me. But it also may result in me going next. <laughs> the delicate balance of risk. But he's going to take a fourth card here. Okay. So we'll see how that goes. Unless he's going to do something crazy that I don't see. Yeah. Black ends on four cards. So I should be able to kill them. The problem is I might, might, I might not make it with this, right? So these troops are not going to make it. So my 25 might need to come through. 25 needs to hit this, and then I also need to get all of this 8 here. Obviously, I'd be better off if things were, were a lot more here. But so far, nobody nobody's made a big move yet. I guess I don't kill black. Yeah. But if he ends on 5, okay, then for sure, right? Then for sure. Green, are you setting up for anything crazy? Uh, nobody's doing anything yet. It's like my first game. I always end up in the, the slow lobbies. <laughs> very high, very high level professional lobbies. It's the only way. Nine more for purple. Purple can probably safely end on five. Uh, they Briefly, I thought they might be going into me. I'm like, what the heck? Okay, okay, okay. White is going to take another card. White is a little bit difficult for me to get to. I'd at least have to go through this nine to ever get there. But they turn in. 
And it looks like they're just trying to keep themselves safe. A nice little safety turn in. Okay. Got to respect it. Got to respect it. I don't think I'm trying to kill Black. Just because my 25 needs to come in this way. If I had proportions maybe a little bit more here, maybe I'd be more willing to do it. White moves up into the kill guard square, the semi-kill guard square. It has access to two territories. Okay, but they're just trading back there. Oh. I'm also very cold. I got so many, <laughs> I got so many layers on today. It's very cold in the, the vampire chicken basement these days. Um yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um Okay, let's do a not so subtle move, I guess. This will be maybe not so subtle. Maybe Black will get a little startled and feel like they need to turn in. Maybe. Let's just make these kind of like even. So that nobody suspects a thing. I'm just I'm just even and out. Don't worry about it, Black. Black turns in. Very good. Very good. <laughs> and Black has kind of the same line on me that I have on on him. So uh we both both need to be a little bit cautious. Okay. He's making those guys 11s. Just a little bit outside what I would like to go for. Remove red. Remove red. Do something spicy. Or skip. <laughs> skip a card. Okay, Black's trying to figure out where to get a card. Are they going to do anything, anything spicy? Okay. Takes a card in the usual spot and then stays there this time. Which I'm, I'm happy with. Whenever purple has five cards, I'm glad black is always there. Because if black is blocking purple from getting to my 29, it's, it's very unlikely purple will ever kill me. So being black, we got a good thing going. <laughs> I don't know if he knows it or not. But uh, black is a little bit of a lifesaver. I'm still one of the lowest on troops. But going in the second position, that's not... And only having one bonus. I mean, it's not completely unexpected whatsoever. If red ever runs out of cards, there might be some interesting way to try to block them. Force them to get a bad card. But red seems to always have access. Everybody always has access to cards. Okay. Is green going to open purple up here? Okay. Not expecting anything too wild. We're going to open up the black stack to be able to go back into them. Black actually with one huge stack might be setting up for something on green because the stack can go here, take out the nine, and then come backwards for green. And black also has access to this green over here. Okay, uh-oh. What's happening now? Okay. Just giant 69 stack. Here it comes. Purple's on the move. They maybe just sit right there. Am I the one that's not going to have an easy card? Or are people asking me to remove the red too here? Red goes before me. But it's becoming a little bit more difficult to take cards on this side of the board. So nervous. <laughs> it's always quiet, and then when stuff happens, it escalates. Like, as soon as one person gets eliminated, it's, it's all going down. It, the doors open wide open. Um... But I guess if nothing else, maybe my goal is just to play the longest games in this tournament. Maybe <laughs> it's... We'll see. Okay, White gets a card there. Yeah, everything's, everything's open there for everybody. So this is my easiest card. Alternatively, I, you know, could, could do stuff like punch all of this out now or whatever. Um... Yeah, it's not it's never easy these settings. It's never easy. Um, okay. Well, I guess I'm going to remove black. Does this feed black to green? Possibly. Well, but green already has this kill on on red if they want it anyway. Um Okay. Well, I'm going to do this. And then I think I'm just going to stay where I was. And I take a third card. So green might be able to kill 
somebody, right? And it's red. Green is lined up with red here and lined up with red here. And they had the seven that was getting ready to take the two out anyway. Stay up here, bro. I love it when you're up here. <laughs> I thought purple actually might put this stack over here where it's a little bit more open, but purple is keeping this stack ready to come this way, which I think means purple's not trying to kill me. Yeah, green goes for it. Okay, cool. Okay, they're going for it. They're, they thought about it. Go for it. Yeah, okay, green's going for an elimination. Okay, well done. Agnes Fleece goes for a, a kill on Vaxi. Okay, and he should be able to get it. Well done. This will give green a turn in, and we'll see how that uh, that suits them. So I should be trying to eliminate black, I suppose. I just, it's hard for me to take out this 64. I need this stack to be significantly bigger. He's not done. Oh dear, what's he going for now? Oh my God. I can't believe he's still going. Or he's asking for something. He's asking for a line on somebody. Hmm. Very fascinating. So green is a deadly player. We should proceed, you know, a little bit cautiously here with green on the board. Green now has a lot of bonuses as well. It'll be interesting to see if anybody decides to try to break any of those. I think it would be completely fair for white or even purple to come take one of these bonuses, particularly white. If I were white, I might actually try to take this guy's bonus. Purple is going to break, which is great. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He says well played. <laughs> I think it is well played by purple. Um, so white is kind of weak. I'm kind of weak. Having trade-ins here is going to matter a lot, and I happen to have one at the L junction. Perfect. Hey, haters, you can take this L in my L junction. Uh, let's see what, uh, what white comes up with here. So what are the trades? I mean, it might, it might be possible 50. It actually might be possible for me to kill black, which is something I've been saving up for. But I have to put a lot here and kind of a lot here. Do I need to put a lot here? Maybe not. Okay. White takes a third card. But there's also something about killing black into a kill on white in the future. I don't know. I don't think I can figure this out. I'm terrified. I'm terrified. I'm terrified. Uh, I'm going to take it. Okay, I'm going to take this bounty. I'm very scared. Oh my god, I barely got that. But I take one bounty. Three points. Let's go. Um... <clears throat> Wait, and that only gets me three cards? Oh, why did I get? I think I was getting a trade-in for that? Oh, I'm so stupid. You know how bad I am at risk? Oh my god. I was thinking I was going to get a trade-in because I had three cards, but I turned in my three cards to make that bounty, and now I die immediately. Wait, I'm so bad at risk. Green should be able to just kill me now. Wait, why am I horrible at risk? It's so cold and I'm so bad. <laughs> I'm so bad. I shouldn't have done that. That was really stupid of me. I should have waited a turn at least. My god, I'm doing I'm doing horrible this tournament. It's just another brain collapse in a way. But I get what? I get fourth place with only one bounty. What's fourth place? It's not good, dude. All right. Well, this has just not been my tournament. <laughs> I'm doing really bad. He might miss this. Oh my god. All right, green gets it. I feel embarrassed publishing this. I'm so stupid at risk. Wait, why did I do that? I thought I was going to get a turn in after I killed him and then I'd be fine. My bad. My bad to black. <laughs> Sorry, dude. Uh, anyways, that's how my tournament's going. Par for the course. Thank God. The first time you see this, I'm actually going to be on a vacation. I'm going to be on a plane when you see this video, so I'm, I don't know what you guys are saying in the comment section, but thank God I can't even read it. Uh, I need a vacation badly after this one. I'll see you guys then. Make sure you subscribe for more incredible games like this. Bye.